that's pretty much an experiment that's been done since the beginning of the wireless shifting known as ETAP from SRAM. And now we're going to do an exercise that I've done before but I did it in a rush in traffic and we didn't really get a good gauge of measurement. What the aim is right now is just to see, just for sheer curiosity, how far indeed the, um, the signal will reach. Of course, you're going to have the levers with the same bike that the derailleurs are on, so this is a completely redundant exercise, but I'm doing it anyway. Why? Well, just for a giggle, I suppose. That's the only reason. So I have a faithful assistant who's going to take the levers of uh, the new SRAM Force Axis Wide group set, which is going to go onto a bike tomorrow. And he's going to go at paces of 10 metres at a time, and we're going to see how far he gets. And we will measure it using an Apple Watch to make sure that we understand the exact distance. It's technology at play, and a little bit of fun, a little bit of trivia, using uh, cycling bits and pieces. That's it. Intro over. According to our completely very unscientific uh, uh, experiment, it's about 62 metres of uh, signal. And what we also realised is that there has to be movement in the derailleur for it to be activated. So that's pretty much in line with what we understand it to be on the bike. In other words, it's never going to be active all of the time. Once the derailleur is idle for a little while, it just basically... Um, I don't know, I guess it switches off the signal and then once the bike is moving again, then you're good to go again and you can start shifting gears. So anyway, a bit of trivia for you. SRAM, uh, wireless shifting, span, give or take 62 metres. What do you reckon? Interesting or not? Bit of fun. <laughs>